In the previous videos, we saw the import of terrain data and also how this terrain data can be reduced in area and size in order to visualize the surfaces. In this video, I would like to show you some additional functions and features that allow the import of terrain points and the modeling of break lines. For it, we first create a new terrain surface in the surface manager and we then use the add surface points command to add additional terrain points to this surface model. In the surface manager, we can see that the point information was directly added and we can now use the break line command to mesh the break lines that are available in this drawing file into our terrain surface. With the filtering tool, we select the 3D lines and in the control panel, we select the elevation strategy to take over the elevation of the 3D lines. With applying the settings, all break lines are directly meshed into the selected terrain surface. We now change the drawing file where we want to show these points that were added to the terrain surface in combination with the meshed break lines. After applying the 3D faces visual style, we can see that the break lines are meshed in the terrain surface. Of course, we can also visualize the surface in the counterline representation. And we can also add the label path for these counterlines. The input of the label path is terminated with an escape click. And the settings for the label path can then be adjusted in the visual style settings in the surface manager. It can be defined for the main counterlines and the auxiliary counterlines independently. First, we change the equidistance of the counterlines and we also change the text height for showing the altitude information of the labels. After reassigning the representation style of counterline for the surface, we can see the main counterlines and auxiliary counterlines being drawn in a different equidistance with the dedicated elevation labels. With the surface info tool, we can pick certain points within our surface area and derive the coordinate and elevation information. This information can be saved in a separate file, a txt format, or it can also be used to generate a new terrain surface from it. With the button Generate Surface, a new terrain surface can be created. Here we do this and give it the name Baugrube. This is directly visible in the Surface Manager and contains 28 points that were just picked with the Surface Info tool. We now change the visual style of our surface from the 3D faces back to the counterline representation. And we can see that it is also possible to visual multiple surfaces at the same time.